a time when amazing beer from people love us of freedom. The Udu West and the Middle Beltans are welcome you back to Umu Biafra TV where we will bring you the latest news concerning Biafra movement to Udu actualization. As I am welcome you, please do me a favor and welcome those around you. As I'm also asking you, please, if you're watching without smacking the red button, I beg now, make you do your sister a favor. Go ahead, smack the red button, create the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. All right, so we're going to present you a video, please. We're going to watch it with open mind. Remember, Biafra is our religion, in Biafra is where we stand. That is what it means that neither Biafra or nothing. And as I am asking you, please, in whatever you are doing, do not forget to be praying for the actualization and also for Mazenam the Kano. Yes, same. I will be worldwide. The entire world was and Nigeria freedom fighters all over the world because we're here to set the black race free. Okay? Come on in and let us watch with one mind. I want to ask you about. Um IPOB and all that. Mm -hmm. You stood short for uh, Namdi Kano. Mm -hmm. At the time when the John Bill, what was going through your mind? <laughs> no, at the, at the time that he escaped, you know, because you know he said to himself, and even said it. Yeah, what's it? Uh, yeah, just a minute. I, 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 and even when he came to court uh, the other day. He said, I ran for my life. So there are two things about jumping bail and escaping for your life. So I think we need to always make that very, very clear. So at the time that he ran for his life, all that happened was that we said, okay, so we'll go back to court and make our case. And I came back to court and I went to the judge and we made a deposition mm -hmm. and said, that on the basis of the legal principle of last seen, that the last people that were seen with him were the soldiers of the Nigerian army who were uh, invading his um, residence, his father's residence where he was staying. And therefore, they have the responsibility of talking about what happened. And we deposed it in court, and the matter went to court, and the judge ultimately ruled that they are revoking bail. You know, most Nigerians didn't know that the judge had actually revoked the bail and uh, issued a warrant of arrest. of arrest, thereby removing us from responsibility again of providing him mm. yeah that's what happened. not many people know this yeah a lot of people don't mm. know yeah so that's why when a lot of people mm. were shouting oh go and bring a body we let him produce him i just <laughs> laughed because i knew, <laughs> I knew that uh, they were not on any strong legal uh, uh, foundation you know did you at any point um, think that you could be put in this lama over his uh, no i never I, no no i never I never always, I was always sure, because I'm, my, the facts, of course, were very, very... Uh, and you didn't feel betrayed that um, he did that to you? No, I didn't feel, I said he escaped for his life, so he couldn't have been betrayal. You know. But he didn't communicate with you. And you well, know that. Uh, well, if, if he if he is running for his life, I expect him to be communicating with me. <laughs> How would he communicate? I, I, was, I was as surprised as anybody. When uh, after that whole drama, mm. he, he surfaced in uh, Israel, and I immediately filed, wrote a letter to the Foreign Affairs Ministry yes. asking the Nigerian the Foreign Affairs to instruct our Nigerian ambassador in. Uh, Israel to ascertain whether the person that we see in his photograph is actually this person. I never got a response from our foreign affairs uh, minister because and, and, and uh, that letter that I wrote and all that I also filed it 
yes. in court. Because I, I, I always follow in the legal and proper procedure. I never got any response. I didn't hear anything again. And of course, um, part of the ruling mm. of uh, the uh, judge in this matter, we, we had also um, uh, gone on appeal. You know, and the matter is still pending. But I, now that you know, there's another. This I don't. I don't think that that matter would. If they were to um, grant him bail again, would you stand? Would you be willing to? If the circumstances are the same, why not? My the 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 first circumstance was that the uh, judge said that they need hmm. a senator. Okay you know, to uh, be part of his uh, shorties. Mm. And, and, and so if a judge turns out again and says, this is also the destiny, I don't see why I'm a senator of the Federal Republic. I come from the Southeast. I'm the chairman, uh, I'm the minority leader. At that time, I was chairman of the Southeast Caucus. Right now, the chairman of the Southeast Caucus is in Kekure Madrid. So maybe if such a, a situation uh, as chairman, he would not. <laughs> <laughs> he to him. <laughs> well, I, I don't think that uh, we will run away from our responsibility. He's our son. Mm, and he's from our state. So our son is from our state. And um, we think also that despite everything, there are fundamentals that we must deal with. And those fundamentals is what we need to actually focus on. Yes. And that fundamental is, what is it about this particular government that is leading to this type of alienation from component parts? Because it's not just Namdekan. Ibo is also there somewhere insisting that they, uh, they should also go their way. It's not just him. Mm. Uh, so, and, and uh, we, what we thought really was that um, the first things first, you don't deal with the symptom, you try to deal with what is it that has led to these symptoms. Uh, we think that the symptoms are the cries for, mm. you know, that, and, and at the basis of it is what uh, my son Asule and uh, a few uh, northern leaders of thought when they went to meet with uh, President Buhari after his election in 2015 and they said to him justice is the basis for whatever everybody will do. If you do justice to all then you will have no problem. And we think that that is the problem. Justice. Thank you so much, uh, my senator. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate